Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a crude YouTuber that's trying to be a long no by. And today I am going to do a part two of a video that I did a couple of months ago. One month maybe? I have asked my boyfriend to pick out 10 of my eyeshadow palettes in my collection and I'm going to talk about them if I would buy them again. And I don't know who started this from the beginning. I think I either saw it first at Betty Bean's channel or in its makeup corner. But I will leave some of my YouTube friends down in the description that I have been seeing do these. So yeah, I am going to show you 10 palettes, talk about them and see if I want to buy them again or if I would buy them again. And this is fun because my boyfriend, he doesn't know anything about my palettes. So yeah, I'm just going to dig into this pile that he has picked and maybe I should scooch. Yes, I should. So the first one is a hairy palette and this is the Nomad Orient Express palette. That looks like this. And I think I've used this one two times maybe. It has some really interesting like shimmers and some shimmers that I do really like like this one and this one and this one as well but I don't know this was a palette that I really really craved I bought it because it's kind of expensive for me to buy from Nomad because it's a US brand but I did buy this because they sold these out as half off. I think it was last Black Friday maybe. 2020 maybe it was. Yeah, it would have been. Um, but then when I got it home I do really like how this looks. But I haven't used it that much. Maybe I, if I just give it some more tries. But... I actually don't think that I would buy this again, not because I think it is a bad palette, but it's very many like similar shades, like I don't feel like you need this one, this one, this one, this one and this one in the same palette. I think they're either change them out with something else or just make the palette smaller. But I'm happy that I have it, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy it again and I don't think it would change even though if I start to use it more actually so no I wouldn't buy this again. Next one is this Loose Cosmetics Meet Me in the Underworld and I think if you have seen me or heard me talk about this at any point you know that I would keep the or I would buy this over and over again. I love this palette. This was a palette that I did fell in love when I saw it, like the layout, the color story, the front of the palette and then I ordered it and got it home and the packaging was amazing. I, I ripped it open in the car, <laughs> I'm a little bit mad on myself about that, but it was an amazing packaging, like the silk paper and it was just so nicely packed and then I tried it and I wasn't blown away. People did rave about this palette so so much and I tried it and I was like it's good but it's nothing special but then I did free looks one palette and with every look I did I fell in love with this palette more and more and more and now I love this this is one of my favorite palettes I can do like really easy, nice looks that uh, is work appropriate. I hope you get what I mean. Or I can do really cool looks. I do really love the shimmers. I love the mattes as well. And I, I love everything about this palace and I would buy it over and over again. This is absolutely one of my favorite palettes in my collection. And spoiler alert in my when I'm doing best palettes of 2022, this is going to be in there and it's going to be high up. Next one here picked out is the Spectral palette from LH Cosmetics. And if you know me, I do love LH Cosmetics. Uh, Linda Holberg, that is the creator of the brand, 
is a big inspiration for me and has always been and I do love her both makeup style and her clothing style and I think she's really really cool and this palette was really different when it came because this isn't a thing that you see like in Sweden so this is very unusual when it came out and I do love this shade this is absolutely one of my absolute favorite shades in my collection it's such a cool shade and it looks amazing if you put it over a dark matte if you put it over like a black or even on this one it is amazing but i i struggle with this and i actually wouldn't buy it again even though i love this shade so so much I wouldn't buy it because I think the price is too high for only love this shade actually. So I wouldn't buy it but it is a good palette but I don't think it's like super unique anymore. But remember also this came out a couple of years ago so when it came out it was pretty special. And it's still special like to what you can buy in store in Sweden. The next one is a palette that I would buy over and over again and it's the freaking bets with Betty Bean and Shroud. I love Shroud, I love Betty Bean and I love this color story and Shroud do one of my absolute favorite shimmers. They are amazing shimmers and I've done three looks, two looks, one palette, maybe this with this one or three looks, one palette. And I'm so going to use this again because I'm, or I have done a video recently when I'm filming this. I haven't recorded it yet, but when you see this video, I, it has already came out. And I do love this and I would also buy this over and over again. I love the color story. I love the... Horatio, the ratio between the matte and the shimmers and it's dark colors and it's light colors and this is just an amazing palette so I would definitely buy it. And the next one he picked was the Lethal Cosmetics Velvet Dusk. This was a Lethal's um, 90s grunge inspired palette and I do really like this palette. I have done some really fun looks with this and I do really like the shimmers but I wouldn't buy this again. I would buy some of the singles, shadows singles but I wouldn't buy this palette as a whole again because I don't love all the shades. It is a good palette. I do love Lethal's formula. But it's mostly the shimmers that I love and some of the mattes, but I wouldn't buy this as a whole palette. I would buy some colors, singles. Because it's not that... I wouldn't lay this palette... If I go... I, I would... Okay. I wouldn't pick out these shadows by myself if I was going to buy something from Lethal. So, no, I actually wouldn't buy this again. Am I a little bit surprised about the answer? I actually think I am. Next palette is one from Kaleidos and this is the Flower Punk. I wouldn't buy this fucking packaging again, I hate it. The palette looks like this and this was also... Okay, I'm going to put the lid somewhere else. This I also didn't... I wasn't super thrilled about this but... I've used it a couple of more times and I do really like it. I do like that it's a like grungy side and this a little bit more cute side maybe. And I am maybe not disappointed with the shimmers, but if you know Kaleidos, some of the shimmers they do are amazing. These, I don't remember if it was with the Escape Pod palette maybe where they came out no it was it has to be with the lunar lavender palette that they did lighter shimmers or more like toppers and i do miss that this isn't like the first futurism palettes but i actually would buy this again because these colors down here are so amazing and i do love to mix these 
like taking some down here and mix it with one of these one of the shimmers maybe so i actually would buy this again but i do hate this i hate that you can take the lid off i i am the person that just hates this i don't get the point with this i think it's a stupid packaging but i would buy the palette again i do like the colors more than i hate the package then I actually pick out two small palettes from LH Cosmetics. I can start with the first one. This is the Metallic Mysteries palette. It looks like this. And these are little quads, as you can see. And these are multi-use. And I, I don't know if you can see this, but I haven't used it that much. It was one point that I bought everything that LH, Com LH Cosmetics came out with. I bought it all and I bought it like on release date and uh, I really wanted to support the brand and uh, Linda Holberg so I bought everything even though I maybe didn't use them that much. And this one, this is not like the life that I love. These are more like toppers. I can't like like this collision. It's more like a glitter, but yeah. I don't know. I never like pick this up. I don't know if I ever have used it on my channel. Maybe if I have done some video with LH Cosmetics. But um, they work as like an inner corner highlight and I can use them, but it's not like it's not it's inspiring me and it was kind of expensive so I wouldn't buy this again I actually wouldn't but I think I might buy this one this is the metallic mysteries 2 if I open this you maybe can see why these two colors I love those I did a Christmas look with these a couple of years back maybe 2019 I didn't do the look on camera, but I had this in a video. I think it was like some of my yearly favorites videos. I did the green eye and I did red eye and I did love that look so, so much. So I took one of the crayons from LH Cosmetics and used it as an eyeshadow base. And then I took these colors over and I did really, really love that look. But I actually think that I have other red and green shimmers in my collection that I like better. The only thing is these are kind of unique in one way. You really have to like, if you want them super intense, you really have to take like a glitter primer or something. But I think that this this is a really nice red it is a kind of deep red and this green is maybe a little bit more mossier than the usual shimmer greens are but i don't i don't think they are so unique that is that it is like weighing up for the price for liking loving two of four colors actually so i no i wouldn't buy this again we have two palettes left and uh, one of them is the Melt and Beetle Use palette. This was the 2020, it must have been, um, Halloween collab. It looks like this. This shadow of mine has cracked. So sometimes parts of it falls off. I do love this palette because I do love Beetlejuice. I have seen it a lot of times and it's one of my favorite movies. And I do really love like this kind. And I didn't love this row as much. But now when I'm loving purple, maybe I should take this palette out and play with it and do a purple look. But yeah, this I would definitely buy again. Mostly because I love that it's beetle use and I think it's really, really cool. But yeah, 
I would buy this again. Even though it's not my favorite palette from Melt, I would. I just don't understand why this shadow has cracked. But yeah, I the green row is amazing and like especially this color is so so good. So yeah, I would definitely buy this again. And the last palette he picked out was this from Lime Crime. This is Preload Chroma. And I have two of these from Lime Crime. I have the Venus 2 and this one. And I I like that it is a kind of small palette, even though it's so bulky. Like, what the hell is this? And I like the looks that I have done with this. But I, it, it's not like unique. I think I could dupe this pretty easy within my collection. And I think it's a little bit too light. I would want some more darker, col darker, darker <laughs> colors. But yeah. Maybe I should do a look with this soon. Yes, I should. But no, I, I wouldn't buy this again. Because I think that I could dupe this with things I have in my collection actually. So this isn't like super unique for me. So no, I wouldn't buy this again. And yeah, that was all the 10 palettes for this time. I hope that you like this and if you want to, I can ask my boyfriend to pick up more palettes and I can do this again. I always think it's fun to hear what people think and um, what the feelings are with their palettes that they have bought because even though you wouldn't repurchase a palette I don't think that means that you could decluttering it but like like the prelude chroma I do like it I wouldn't declutter it but I wouldn't buy it again so yeah I do really hope that you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my other videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one bye